Xin chào, tôi là Thắng. Hello everyone and welcome back to Dynamic Vietnamese. My name is Thắng. I'm so delighted to see you again. In the last lesson, we learned about Vietnamese tones, namely ngang, sắc, hỏi, huyền, ngã, nặng. There are totally six different tones in the Vietnamese alphabet, and I expect you to work hard and learn by heart all of them. In today's lesson, we will analyze some of the most common diphthongs or double vowels in the Vietnamese alphabet. And I hope at the end of the lesson, you will be able to read a lot of Vietnamese words. Okay, so now let's get started. First of all, let's take a look at the table here, which illustrates all of the Vietnamese double vowels or deep vowels, you know. So what is a deep vowel? Well, it's a vowel combined with another vowel. So in order to uh, pronounce it, you know, correctly, you should be able to memorize single consonants. Okay, what we learned in the last, in the uh, first lesson. Right, so if you forget, let's check it out. Now, so let's take a, uh, you know, an example. We have vowel, the vowel O and E. O, E, O, E, O, E. It appears in the word TOI. TOI, it means I. Okay, for example, um, tôi là thắng. Tôi tên là thắng. I'm thắng, or my name is thắng. Okay, you see? Okay, so tôi is a diphthong or a double vowel. Because this table seems quite complicated, so I will use another one. A brief version of this table with a view helping to helping you uh, memorize better, okay? Because during your journey of learning Vietnamese, you will become more and more familiar with deep tongues. So don't worry much at the, you know, um, during this stage, because uh, we just focus on very common deep tongues or double vowels. So now, let's get started. Let's take a, the table and the first diphthong, which is I, I, A, E, I, okay? I, it appears in some words like this. Hi, you can see the consonant, HO. I, hi, it means number two, okay? Or, Sai, sai, it means wrong, wrong, okay? Now, the second one, we have A, E, I, A, E, I, okay? For example, Cai, it means spicy, Cai, or Vai, Vai, it means to borrow. Okay. Now, number three. A, O, Ao. Ao. We have Ao. Quần Ao. Clothing. Okay. Quần Ao. Clothing. Thank you. Number four. A, U, Ao. Ao. It is different from ao, you know, ao. For example, we have kho bao. Kho bao. It means treasure. Okay? Kho bao. Okay. Thank you. So now, let's move on. The next double vowel, we have o. O, u, o. O. For example, no, no, it means brown. 
is a color, okay? No or gay go. Gay go. It means rich, okay? So let's take a look at the first word, gay. So we have another diphthong, which is ai, a, e, ai, ai, gay go means bridge gay it means tree you know so once again gay go good job next we have l a o l l leo chiao leo chiao it means glam glam okay leo Leo Chiao. Thank you. The next one we have the vowel E, short E. Okay? E A Ear. Ear. We have Mia, Mia, Sugar Cane. Okay? Mia, Cây Mia. Okay, for example, next we have you, e u you, for example, oi tiu, oi tiu, it means something goes off. Okay, you remember, and then we have e a u you. Eel. For example, bao nhiêu, bao nhiêu, how many or how much, you know, bao nhiêu, very good job. The next one we have, o, a, e, y, 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 it appears in this word, thoải mái. Thoải mái, it means comfortable, okay? Comfortable, remember? We also have bre, 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 o, e, bre. For example, khỏe mạnh, khỏe mạnh, it means healthy. Khỏe mạnh, or Khỏe, it means strong. Remember, khỏe, khỏe, mạnh. Thank you. Now, next, we will have letter U. U, A, U. U. For example, lúa, lúa, rice, lúa, or chùa, chùa. It means pagoda. Remember, chùa. We have u e quê quê for example quê it means hometown quê very good job we have u e ui ui for example tui tui it means bag okay be careful because we have u e short e u e but u long e we have ui ui for example yêu quý yêu quý it means love okay now let's move on with the next double vowel which is ue U E A Uia Uia For example Đêm khuya Đêm khuya At midnight You know Đêm khuya At night Okay We also have U O U U For example Buồn Buồn It means Very sad Buồn Buồn A feeling a sort of emotion, you know. We also have 
u o e u i u i for example b u i b u i it means part of a day for example b u i s a n g it means morning you know okay b u i the next we have u a u u for example m ư a m ư a it means rain or b u i c h ư a it means afternoon b u i c h ư a okay so now we have only four more d i p h t o n g s okay the first one we have ư a ư a ư a ư a ư a okay for example quê hương quê hương it means hometown like quê quê or quê hương it means my hometown hometown remember now ư a i ư a we have ư a ư a for example tươi fresh fresh remember also we have u a u u is a very difficult to pronounce so be careful u u u okay we also have u u u u for example lưu trữ store it means store lưu trữ a verb you know a verb and also we have l u s a v e a verb, you know. So, thank you so very much, and I hope that this will help you. And in the next lesson, we will, you know, learn how to introduce ourselves and um, some other very important daily topics. Okay, like uh, you talk about your hobbies. You talk about your personality, your country, and even your daily routine, and and something like that. Okay. Thank you so very much once again. Goodbye for now.